Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just after 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York. It is Friday, happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands, 9th day of August 2019 and this is the daily report for gold and silver. Statements made by President Trump today in which he said he, we, he is not ready to make a deal has definitely escalated tensions between the current dispute or trade war between the United States and China. That throughout the entire week has been highly supportive of the safe haven asset class and gold and silver have benefited from that with sizable upticks in both those precious metals and U.S. equities continue to trade under pressure. How long this will go on is anyone's guess, but he also mentioned that he doesn't care whether or not they hold face-to-face -face negotiations in September. And if that happens, that increases the probability that the remaining $300 billion worth of Chinese exports to the United States will have tariffs imposed on them come September 1st. That could continue to underscore these recent moves we have seen in gold pricing. Of course, we are long gold. We're long from 1474. And on today's show, I want to talk about our current trade, our current stop, where we see resistance, where we see support, and our exit strategy. But first, let's take a look at current pricing for the week. As we look at the price board, we can see that gold is in essence unchanged, currently down about 80 cents at 1508.70. The high is important, that was 1521.10. I'll talk about that when we pull up some charts. Low today came in at around 1506, so it is a higher low than the previous lows. But when you consider that this market on Monday was trading at 1400 plus, we can see that it has moved up over $60 this week alone, a tremendous move in gold. Silver did close higher on the day, and silver actually gained about three cents, but it's still below $17 at 1695. Palladium had some slight gains today, $3.50, $14.17, and finally platinum lost about three tenths of a percent at 864.80. Let's take a look at our charts. As you know, we did send out a trade alert on Monday and we went long December gold. We got in roughly at 1474.40. Initially, we put a stop very low and raised it on two occasions during the week. Currently, we have a stop at 1496.13, so we have locked in some profits. But the real question becomes is how high can gold go before this leg of the rally has concluded? And to that end, we have a couple of different models that we have been looking at throughout the week, but I do want to suggest the model that you see on the screen. It is simply created by using Fibonacci extensions, and these extensions are also related to a basic Elliott wave count. Under this model, we are looking at the first move that occurred last year in August at 1166.80, this bottom, as a beginning of an impulse wave, and we're going to label this as wave one right here. We also see that the correction that followed took pricing back down to about 1266, and that would have concluded a corrective wave two, which means that we are currently in an impulse wave three, as you know, with Elliott Wave, the third wave cannot be the shortest of any of the waves. And typically on a strong rally, one model to forecast where the third wave could conclude is by looking at a 1.618% extension of wave one. And that is exactly what we're looking at with this number. 1561.70 is that 1.618% extension of the first wave. That being said, we can see that it easily made it through a one-to-one -one relationship. That was 1448. 1490 was a 1.23% extension, and the market hit a high just above 1518, which is a 1.382 extension. So we did close just below that, and we can also see and we'll have to look at a daily chart to illustrate that, that there is some solid support at 1500, but there is also resistance currently at 1521. 
And traders, as you can see, I have pulled up a daily chart and the high over the last three trading days has come in roughly at 1521. We can see that here on our daily chart. We absolutely have some resistance, but what I really think we have is a market in consolidation because typically when a market makes a sizable move, and if we look back in June, we had this nice clip up. It took us to about 1340. Then for about a week, it really traded sideways. In other words, we consolidated and then we had another stair step higher. From there, we had a wide swath of consolidation that occurred through the end of June and July in which we had pretty wild price swings, but nonetheless, nothing solid in terms of gains or losses. And then we went into this leg of the current rally and now we're back into a consolidation mode. So what that tells me is while 1520 could in fact be the top of this leg, which would be followed by a wave four correction and a final fifth wave up, and we've talked throughout the week of where we think that fifth wave would go, but that's going to be dependent on where wave three concludes. And that, as I said yesterday, is still a moving target. So for right now, we're going to recommend that we maintain our long position. We maintain our current stop at 1496. And we see if this market wants to retrace next week and move into a correction mode, or we will simply see this market consolidate before moving to higher ground. And as I said, higher ground to me right now could take gold as high as $1,561 per ounce. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you on Monday for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.